Today I'm going to compare these two boards. It is the starboard touring versus the starboard wall. I have done reviews on both these boards and you will find the links to the review videos of this board down in the description. Just before we start the test, I got the opportunity from Surfspot in Stockholm to test this board. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. I am not paid, I just do this because I'm so curious and I also like to test new boards. When I compare these boards today, it is my experience, my feelings, it is my 174 centimeter and uh, 74 thick that are on this board. What you feel can be different, so try before you buy. Both the wall and the Touring S is 14 foot long and 28 inch wide, but the Touring S is 6 inch thick while the wall is only 475 inch thick and the Touring S has 345 liters while the wall has only 302 liters. The Touring is a deluxe single chamber and the wall is a deluxe double chamber and this extra double chamber goes like a wall around the whole standing area and makes the board name the wall. Even though the wall are thinner and the touring are thicker, the wall seems to add more weight to the board. The wall is 12.5 kilo according to Starboard's website and the touring 10.3 kilo. So the touring board is lighter. Both these boards should be pumped between 15 to 18 psi, but the double chamber only to 10 psi. And when I look at the board shape, these two boards are completely identical. You can see for yourself. These two boards are 28 inch wide, but you can buy the wall also in 30 inch wide and the touring in 30 and 32. When we flip the board around, you can see that the wall have a center stringer and also side stringers to make the board stiffer. And the touring has no stringer at all. And the Touring has a D-ring in the front that you can tow with and the wall has no D-ring. And when it comes to fin boxes you have a big difference. The Touring board has the fin box further back compared to the wall. And when I put the fin in the rear position you can see here on the Touring board that the fin is behind the board. And on the wall it ends in rear position where you have the tail runner. So this tells me that Starboard thinks that the touring board needs some help with the tracking. So they have put the fin box further back while the wall has the fin box more forward to get some help with the steering turning the board. On the wall you find a little bubble here, but on the touring board there are no bubble here. And this bubble you see is from the inflating wall compared to the touring board where you have no bubble. That's because Starboard has hide this bubble under the fin box. This bubble you see on the wall is not a problem. You have a lot of stringers between top and bottom and where you have the inflating valve 
you can't have these stringers and you have nothing to hold the back uh, because that's what the stringers do uh, do the board shape if you didn't have these stringers the board will be like a balloon and a lot of boards has this valve under the fin box and you don't see the bubble the downside to have it under the fin box is that it's going to be harder to do maintenance on the valve we start looking at the handles both board has a padded center handle with a nice grip both board are really well balanced what the wall doesn't have like the touring board is this shoulder strap and it also double as a paddle holder. Really good to have. Both this board has this FCS mount in the front and they also have a handle here that are not padded. But the touring board also has two side handles here that the wall doesn't have. When we go to the back, the touring board has these side handles that the wall doesn't have. But in the back, both board has this handle and the wall has the D-ring here while the touring has it in the middle. So if you want a lot of handles, the touring board wins. And when it comes to touring, I think both these board are touring boards and when you want to tour you want to have gear on the board when it comes to bunnies you have a system with 16 rings in the front of the touring board while the wall only has a system with four d rings in the back of the wall you have no bunnies at all and on the touring board you have a system of four d rings A 65 liters dry bag fits really good on the wall and you might have some extra space here on the sides to put some small stuff. This is the touring board but you can call it expedition board. You have a 15 liter dry bag, 65 liter dry bag and here in the back another 65 liter dry bag. So you can be out for a really, really long time with this board. When it comes to bag, repair kit, pump, it is the same for this board. If you want to know more about this, you can check the review for each board on this channel. What do you want? Are you going to choose the wall or the touring board? Drop a comment, I want to know. Thank you. When it comes to tracking, both board tracks really good, but the wall is the winner here. Uh, you can be, you can have really bad paddle technique, and uh, you will still paddle straight. When it comes to turning the board, maneuvering the board, it is much easier to do that on the touring board. Um, I think it's really hard to turn around with the wall but on the other hand it is really stable to do step back turn on the wall I will say that the touring board is still a very stable board to do step back turns on when it comes to stability both board has the same board shape but Touring is 6 inch thick and uh, the wall is 4.75 inch thick and both board are really stable but the wall is yeah it's much more stable so the winner is the wall. When it comes to stiffness, flex, I don't feel any flex when I paddle this board but when I just stand and flex the board, I can feel that the wall is much more stiffer. So if it's stiffness and flex we are talking about, the winner is the wall. 
When it comes to speed, I have a hard time to do real speed tests because of body issues. But touring board feels faster and also less resistant. Uh, it is easier to go up river against the stream with the touring board compared to the wall. My wife Erika have helped me to do some speed test. Just remember that this is Erika's speed test. If you are a stronger paddler or different weight or whatever, it could be something else for you. So the best thing is always to test the board before you buy. Uh, but we get a hint of how these boards are in speed. If I'm going to choose between the wall and the touring board, the most important thing for me is when I go up river in the stream that is so little resistance as possible that it is light to paddle the board against the stream. And when it comes to that, it is the touring board that is best. Click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos thank you for watching i really appreciate that feel free to share my videos see you until then paddla lugnt